What's up, y'all? In this video, I'll be separating some baby desert hairy scorpions. But before I get to that, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I reached 100,000 subscribers. I just want to thank you guys for supporting my channel, especially you guys who've been here for the, from the beginning. Um, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I hope you guys take away from my videos. I hope you learned something from them. And uh, yeah, let's get to the Desert Harry's. These babies were born August 31st of this year. The female who produced this brood discarded them on the same day. I didn't get it on camera, but the way she shook them off was similar to how a male scorpion vibrates when courting. She also seemed agitated by the movements of the babies. I offered her a larger meal to see if that would help, but it got away. I'm guessing she didn't have the energy to wrestle it. I came back some minutes later to find her eating one of the babies, so at that point, I decided to separate them. I put the babies all in one container and gave her a large canned grasshopper, which was much easier for her to eat. I didn't want to keep the babies bone dry because they need some humidity to molt, but I also didn't want to keep them too humid. First, I put them on bioactive soil with sand on the top layer, which helped retain humidity but I eventually moved them onto paper towels because isopods will eat molten scorpions. The moss was kept dry and the paper towels were damp. I also kept these babies in the incubator at around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This species is slow growing and will benefit from supplemental heat while growing and reproducing. Although these babies have molted to second instar, they are still soft and fragile. So I have to be very gentle when moving them. Their new containers are five ounce deli cups with cocoa fiber and sand mix. I'll keep a small portion of the container wet and they'll also stay in the incubator. After separating the good ones, I'm only left with five. Many of them did not make it past their first instar. It'll still be another week or more before these babies are ready to eat. I will be feeding them baby roaches, small crickets, fruit flies, and soldier fly larvae. I will upload those feeding videos on YouTube shorts whenever they start eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching.